Hey y'all, it's Charisma Ray back with another video. Today we are going to be discussing some things that you can do around the city of Atlanta. So I'm from rural Georgia. I'm from the country and so many people who visit Atlanta and everybody who knows anything about Atlanta just wants to come and wants to know what do I do when I'm in Atlanta. So today I'm going to talk about all the things I love about Atlanta as far as places to go, things to do. And so you probably will never have to ask me again what can I do when I'm in Atlanta? So if you would like to know about things you can do around Atlanta, places to eat, um, things you can see, keep on watching. First things first, I want to talk about the my top, my favorite brunch spot. So I've been in Atlanta for a while. Well, I went to college, most of you know, I went to undergrad here and I've had my share of food in Atlanta. So I'm going to start from the top of your day and end with the nightlife. I'm gonna go from Monday or Friday to Sunday evening, basically, of things you can do in Atlanta. First things up, brunch. So a lot of you guys who come into the city, you probably wanna know where can I go to get brunch or where can I go to get good breakfast? I'm a fan of good cooking, honey. I am, my parents and my family, are superior cooks so I have to have top-notch food when I go out that's just who I am so as far as brunch my favorite brunch place that I've ever had in Atlanta was Highland Bakery and the reason being the first time I went there actually it was Highland Bakery was superior it was so good the, the my favorite thing that Highland Bakery has on their menu is their sweet potato pancakes their food is really, really good. So you can check out Highland Bakery. The only thing I will say is you need to get there early. You need to get there early because Highland Bakery is known for their line. So if you want some banging brunch at Highland Bakery, you're going to have to get there pretty early. Another one of my favorite spots is West Egg Cafe. West Egg Cafe is off of Howell Mill Road. And I remember back when I was in undergrad, me and my mentor, we would always go to West Egg Cafe. Shout out to Miss Carla. And she, we would just be in there and there would really not be a lot of people in there. And now when you go in there, it's like a wait. So a lot of these brunch places, you are really hot now. You're going to have to kind of get there earlier than you would. So if you're traveling to Atlanta, you got a, a crowd of people with you and they lag behind, get up early if you want to get some brunch in before the crowds get really bad. Another uh, favorite brunch spot of mine is Another Broken Egg. So when I go to Another Broken Egg, they have various locations around Atlanta, but I love to get their bowl. It has guacamole in it, and they have different little scramble bowls. Their sausage is amazing. Their grits, oh my goodness, they have city grits. So they have one in Vinings and they also have one somewhere off of Peachtree, I believe. But Another Broken Egg is really good for their city grits. You have to get the city grits if you go. Another brunch spot is First Watch. First Watch is pretty recent on my list. I just discovered it, but they have fresh bowls um, as well, and they have amazing pancakes. So if you're looking for pancakes, your best bet is Highland Bakery or First Watch. And another thing that I will say about West Egg Cafe is they have a lot of good um, with the biscuits, biscuits and gravy. I think I had the Georgia biscuits and gravy. You need to check that out at West Egg. <laughs> So all of those are phenomenal brunch spots. Anyone that you go to, you're probably going to get good service. You're definitely going to get some good food. It just might be a little bit of a wait time. The next category, after you hit up your brunch and your breakfast and you do some things around Atlanta, you might want to hit up some lunch spots. So some favorite lunch spots of mine that I have been to, if you're looking, it depends on how I'm in the mood or what I'm in the mood for or how I feel. I might want a salad or I might want Mexican food or I might want traditional food. So if you were looking for Mexican, I love 10 Lizzie's. 10 Lizzie's sometimes can be, um, just depending on what you're going in there for, they do have the pictures of margaritas. They do have, if you want to go for Mexican, um, you want to go for margaritas or you want to go for tacos, they have a pretty good variety. I love to get their jalapenos, their fried jalapenos, and their chicken strips if you got a 10 Lizzie's. So that's a good Mexican spot. Also, um, if you have well, depending on where you are, Peso's uh, Mexican spot is off Flat Shows Road, so it's kind of on the east side. 
So you have some different places you can go as far as the Mexican food. Seafood, I love this seafood place on East Side called What's Cracking. Um, it's off of Cameron Road, but it's not a sit down. So if you want something there, you in town with your family, you want to take it, you want it to go, it's so fresh. I have distant relatives who kind of manage the place and run the place, and I'm from coastal Georgia. We love seafood. So if you want some crabs, you got to go to what's cracking. You want garlic crabs and shrimp. And also Chef Lies of Fried Fish. He also is a takeout spot in Smyrna, and I would highly recommend you try his um his fried shrimp and his fried fish he has this crab um crab meat mayo it's fantastic so you can hit up those spots for seafood um i will also recommend any if you want to go to a steakhouse ruth chris that'll get the job done too <laughs> so after you get up uh the lunch spot those are my lunch spots and of course Cheesecake Factory because if you're here during the week, if you're in town, they have phenomenal drink specials. They have phenomenal appetizers for a very cheap price. And cheap, uh, Cheesecake Factory is definitely something if you want to do lunch with a friend if you're in Atlanta. Uh, moving on to the nightlife and the lounges, one spot that I love is the Sweet Lounge. I don't really go out to clubs and that's just not, I'm not a clubby person. So if I go out with a coworker or a friend, I'm more than likely going to a lounge. And Sweet Lounge is really cool. Um, they have really good food. So if you go out, you just wanna enjoy nice a nice environment with uh, decent food. Sweet Lounge is pretty good to go to. Also, Barnacles. Barnacles is really good on a Friday. So if you're coming on a Friday, Barnacles is off of Flat Shoals uh, Road, not too far from Pesos, Mexican. And me and my coworkers, we kind of gather there on Friday. They have really good um, specials going at Barnacles on Flat Shoals. And another place is the U-Bar. I don't really go to the U-Bar, but I have been. I really enjoyed their food. So if you just want a laid back it's not the most upscale place but they really do have decent food and you just want to go out and hang with friends um and then last place for going out or lounges i love hotel lobbies like different hotels in atlanta have lobbies and they have restaurants so if you're in atlanta and you're staying at a hotel the hotel lobbies normally have like a restaurant or a bar and i really like the 12 hotel i don't know how it's changed. I haven't been there, but that was one of my top spots in Atlanta, like years for years, is the 12 Hotel in Atlantic Station. They have really good food, really phenomenal food. So those are for your lounges and your nightlife. I don't really, like I said, I don't really do a lot of clubbing, so I don't, you know, I don't go out to clubs like that. If I go out, it's for an occasion or with a friend, but a lot of the lounges, even like another lounge called uh, Boogaloo, I've been there once, but it's pretty cool. Um, so moving on outside of your nightlife, um, the touristy attractions. Obviously, you will want to go to the Georgia Aquarium. If you have not been to the Georgia Aquarium, you definitely want to go. It's also a big Ferris wheel downtown. You can hit that up. You can just park downtown and kind of walk around. And another thing that I enjoyed recently was the Braves game. And when I went there, if you have any history with softball or baseball, you will definitely love going to the Braves game. It's, it was just like I felt like I was at home. You hearing the the you know the chants, the music, the people. It's really cool going to the Braves game. So if you're in town, you could definitely hit one of those up. Another place I would recommend if you want to have some fun is Andretti's. They do the carts where you can race and it's kind of like an arcade but I enjoyed it even as a grown up <laughs> so they have different things also if you look on Groupon I love Groupon so it's different activities that you can find on there around Atlanta to do as well and finally <laughs> um, the last two things I want to talk about is self care and also your church services because if you come into town you with family you could definitely hit up a service or two and the um Church services that I attend, I kind of been around because I've been and lived in different places in Atlanta, but I love the Greatest Travelers Rest, Pastor E. Dewey Smith, he's there and he is the he's the pastor of the church, but when I was an undergrad, he was in a shuttle to our college to pick up college kids and they would be really nice. They would feed us after that was when they were at the 
older um, the older building but they have since moved because they are a mega church but they're awesome and he will bring the word every time so if you're looking at a place for a place to worship on Sunday Greater Chapel Zeus is great uh, another place you can go is the R Church it's a fairly new church I've been visiting. It's in Alpharetta on Roswell Road or Alpharetta Highway, I believe. So you can definitely check them out. It's a newer church, um, but the pastor, he's wonderful. And you will definitely um, feel the spirit. If you just want to just go worship with the friend, you can check out the art church as well. And you're looking for something more traditional, um, Zion Baptist Church of Marietta. They're really awesome. And it's a traditional um, Baptist church. And also check out Vining's Church. It's a non-denominational um, church um, in Vining's. And it's it's great as well. So you definitely want to get your worship on. You definitely want to get your eat on. You definitely want to get your play on. So it's so much you can do in Atlanta. But these are just some of my favorite spots that I've encountered over my time in Atlanta that I just, my go-to spots. So if you have any questions about any of these spots, or if you would know, uh, if you need to know if you guys, if you're looking to get your girl hair, if you want to give her a hair appointment while you guys are up here, hit up Paula at the Diamond Experience. Um, her information will be below. If you want to get your girl's nails done, you can hit up my nail tech at Endless Nails. If you want to get a massage, you can hit up either Natural Body Spa or Massage Envy. But you're never going to run out of things to do in Atlanta. So this is my video of my favorite things around Atlanta, my favorite places to eat things to do if you have any other questions please feel free to email me or hit me up on facebook or instagram but until then check out my site www.charismaray.com and make sure you hit the like button on this video thank you guys so much for watching and until next time bye